Wasted Energy, new album from Melbourne punk band Press Club. So Press Club are a band that I only came across at the start of this year. In fact, their debut album, Late Teens, only came out in Europe uh, in January of this year. Right. We're now in... September. September. <laughs> and uh, the, their second album came out in August. So that's a pretty it's quick a pretty turnaround. Well. Yeah. So they've obviously, they're obviously quite a productive and creative band. But I think this is one of my favourite albums of the year so far. It's just an absolutely blistering, catchy and emotional punk album. Yeah. And where late teens felt like the, the, the music on it didn't come to the forefront quite as much and it was more of a, a showpiece for the, the front women, Natalie Foster's vocals. But Wasted Energy is, is much more of the, a complete package in that the vocals are still great but everything else is great as well. I know you didn't get as much of a chance to listen to it as uh, this as I did, but what, what are your feelings on Wasted Energy? I didn't know that they were Melbourne-based. However, I was going to ask whether the lead singer was from Australia or not. I mean, I think it's quite... I think it's good when people kind of sing in their own accents. I think it's quite refreshing to hear that, to be honest. Because I think more often than not, you get this kind of like full American accents coming through which I don't particularly enjoy I mean I, I listen to this in shuffle um, <laughs> just as, all as always as to. always um, but certainly there was a f- there was a few songs that kind of really stood out for me Same Mistakes being one of them Yeah. Um, really enjoyed New Year's Eve as well was it Chosen Ones um, where they actually kind of reiterate the the name of the album, the album yeah. So, energy. so chosen ones. There's um the chorus is basically no one cares. You're giving up responsibility to put your mind at ease. You're wasting time and wasting energy. Yeah, and that's easily one of the best choruses on the album. It's so memorable, and I think maybe partly because it's got that callback to the album title. But it's it's like many of the songs on this. It just comes blasting out of the gates, and then towards the end, it sort of slows down a bit and then ends on like a vocal refrain that's just repeated and repeated and repeated until until the song closes out especially on chosen ones the rest of the music just fades away and you're left with just um, the front women screaming which is quite impressive um that they just let let her vocals take center stage at that point but it's a really powerful album and at first listen it might just sound a bit like a a fairly throwaway punk album. The production job is quite restrained. It's quite grimy and sort of gritty. Um, one of the things I read about the the band is that they describe the guitar tone as a sort of kicked in speaker sound, really? which is quite apt. It it sounds like a sort of they're like a garage band. It's got that DIY sound to it, which I think makes it sound like a more honest piece of music because uh-huh. it's not it's not overproduced and. The aim is sort of to capture that that sound of, of a live band, and I think it succeeds in that. I could put pretty much any of these tracks, and it's a standout track. You mentioned Chosen Ones. Well, we talked about Chosen, Chosen Ones. ones. Same um, mistakes in New Year's <clears throat> Eve. New Year's Eve's quite short, and it's just an explosion of energy. Possibly one of the best songs on here in terms of just being a straight-up punk song. Um, often there's nothing better than a, a punk rock pick slide and there's plenty of those all over New Year's Eve but there's a lot of emotion and honesty on this album I mean the last song 23 I get the impression that song's about date rape which is um, quite a, a, a brutal subject to tackle but there's there's a, a section that says tattoos will cover up your actions still say so my body still says no and then there's another line that says what the fuck was in that shit you gave me and refers to things happening in the back of a bar. The the lyrics are quite dark, but it's all covered up in this like bouncing um, punk song with like a, it's got like a a Blink-182 pop punk interlude in the middle of it. So it's like a strange tone going on where there's quite dark lyrics, but it's all in a sort of juxtaposed with a sort of upbeat music. One I I know what the lyrics are about because it was in the press release for this album is, Thinking About You, which I think is the second single 
I think there was a single. I think "Get Better" was the first single, and then yeah, okay. "Thinking About You" was um, was the second one. In fact, "New Year's Eve" was the final single that came out just be- the week before the album. So I right. think it's a pretty good setup for for the album release. Yeah, but "Thinking About You" is a song. First time you hear, it, you might think, "Oh, it's just a, a love song," but it's actually about the the his experience with a stalker, and. It's lyrics like I'm barely barely sleeping now. I know you're around. You know me well, but I don't know you at all. And I wake up and I shit myself. Right. Whereas, like without that, it might just sound like a sort of love song for a new romance. But it's actually about a creepy stalker falling her around. So a couple of pretty heavyweight there's subjects. He- there's yeah, heavyweight really. subjects on here. So I think that honesty lends some some weight to to the experience. And like a lot of albums. It deserves to be listened to a number of times to get the most out of it. But to be fair, I couldn't help myself because I, I, I think I think it's a really good album. I couldn't I couldn't help but listen to it. And as well as uh, hearing somebody singing in their own accent, it's always refreshing to hear a female fronted punk band as well. Yeah. That's not often the case you come across that. The only one that I can really think of off the top of the head is obviously the Distillers with Brody Dahl. I think Fat Mike from No Effects famously said um, he was she was the only person um, that he thought was of any use as a, a female front person. Mm. I think it's becoming more and more common for bands to be female fronted. You've got the Marmosets, which is a there's band. Marmosets are a good example. Um, there's um, a hardcore band called Ithaca who've got um, a really powerful front woman. Um, there's a band Gouge Away, you know, named after the Pixies. They're another hardcore band. There's a there's a few a few examples. And I think it's it's becoming more more common commonplace and more more ex- accepted that um, female fronted bands are good. Yeah. Like okay. it's not just if it's not a male vocalist, well we're not gonna take you seriously, but mm. I think those days are over. I saw Press Club live recently and they're 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 excellent life and natalie foster is just a, a ball of energy when she's on stage and writhing about on stage her hair just is all over the place and she's just sort of a, a cloud you like you just hidden behind her her hair and she jumps into the audience and gets right up in people's faces when she's singing which can be a bit uncomfortable but she's got this i don't give a fuck sort of attitude, attitude. So yeah. So does she play guitar as well? Or no, she just no, she sing? she just sings. I mean, she's got the freedom to to run around. Run around like say, a maniac. Probably gives her a better scope to kind of command the stage and the pit. The pit. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she wants to jump down in there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, definitely a band to check out, and definitely worth catching live if you get the chance. So, I'm gonna make it three for three and make this a nine out of ten as well. I know I was talking shit. I gave the last one an eight. <laughs> uh, we need a wee bit more consistency in our rating systems I think yeah or yeah. do we need a rating system do we need a rating system that's maybe something we need to to think about a bit more mm-hmm. I quite like the idea of a rating system to be honest I don't know if it's of any worth <laughs> my, my opinion or my judgement I don't feel as though I can pass comment or or rate this this album as of yet I'll have to kind of go back to and uh, listen to it properly. Spoiler alert. <laughs> 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 <laughs>